Jeff and I have also talked about the use of uh, acronyms, uh, maybe maybe technical jargon or legal jargon in briefs. Sometimes uh, trial attorneys, I'll, I'll, I'll put this on, on trial attorneys, I, I, I suppose appellate attorneys will do it too, but uh, you tend to get invested in your case, you understand a lot of the, the technical jargon that's involved, and then sometimes you may forget that the appellate judges won't know what the heck you're talking about unless you give them a nice uh, layperson's understanding. Uh, do you have any any comments and advice to practitioners about how to use acronyms and jargon in a way that practitioners can be precise but avoid uh, overly taxing the reader? The uh, yeah, if you can avoid an acronym, do it. Um, and ninety nine percent of the time, I think we can avoid acronyms. Now, I'm not saying if you avoid FDA or the FBI. I mean, these are acronyms that everybody in the world knows what they are. But, you know, when you have, um, you know, I'll just take a silly example. Ford Motor Company, Inc., uh, Paren, FMCI. Uh, you know, a lot of times the, the acronyms that we judges and lawyers, uh, practicing advocates, utilize are, are akin to that. Uh, you know, we, you can, it may, maybe the first time you call, you refer to the Ford Motor Company, Inc., maybe you re refer to the full day. But if you say Ford after that, nobody's going to be confused about what right. Ford you're talking about. Now, if there's two related Ford entities, maybe you do have to do something. But even then, it's a lot, if, if one's an LLC and one's an incorporation, an incorporated entity, um, the, you know, you can refer to the LLC or the limited liability company and the corporation. And it's just a lot easier for people, particularly for appellate courts, uh, speaking from experience, that uh, are diving into your case and we have no previous exposure. And it's, it's, it's counter it, uh, uh, counter effective to, to the advocate to make me flip to a glossary or worse to go back you know to the previous page okay did they define it on page 11 or okay I'm going back to page 11 maybe they okay go back to 10 it's not good but okay page four I flip back to four okay now where was I okay I was on 11 I'm go find you know where my eyes were on page 11 and when you do that, Again, you're making me uh, work, which is okay. You know, that I'll get paid to work. But what you're doing that diminishes the power of your persuasion is now I'm trying to remember what argument you were building up to. I'm, I'm spending my mental energy just trying to figure out what entity you're talking about. And right. that's just totally unnecessary. And so I just think whoever invented the idea of acronym in legal advocacy, uh, I wish they hadn't done it. <laughs> it's just a bad thing.